All right. I'll, I'll actually start off with a statement, which I normally don't. Um, but again, I, I know I said it after the game on the microphone, but I just want to say thank you to every single person that came here today. Didn't matter if you were a Louisville fan, a UK fan, 68 pallets of water were collected. And I might be off by one or two, but I think I'm close before the game. Uh, and to be able to get that done basically in about 30 hours speaks volumes. Uh, I want to thank my brother Scott because uh, he was the one that called me on Saturday morning and had this idea. And then Eric Granger at the Yum Center, I made a call to Eric and He's like, yeah, we will figure something out. We can make it work. I mean, we were going to, we had actually talked on the phone about putting barrels out, getting single bottles of water, whatever. Uh, but he had no problem. And then I'll also talk to a Amy Calabrese, my SWA, and J Josh Hurd within our athletic department and made this possible. And I just really appreciate the willingness to, to try to put something together as qu as quick as we did. And then the mayor got involved, which was outstanding too, because it helped to get a little more publicity out there. And just the fact that you can have a rivalry game as, in, as intense as it was, which it all, always is, both teams are trying to win, but people can come together for a common cause, no matter what team you're cheering for. I think it, it g gives us a little hope in humanity of knowing it, it, it's okay if you cheer for one or if you cheer for the other, but we can still come together and do, and do something good. And that's exactly what took place today. So again, I just want to make sure that everyone that took part of this and helped out and made this possible, that everyone knows how much I appreciate it. Go ahead with any questions. Jeff, just the defensive effort for you guys today. Um, forced 21 turnovers, held Ryan to, to nine points. Just kind of touch, touch on that and what you saw from your team. I, I, I thought we competed. I, I thought we did a great job just trying to grind things out. Offensively, it wasn't the prettiest of, uh, of nights. But we continued to just get down in a stance and try to guard, especially in that third quarter. Uh, we held them to one field goal. And then they get get to the free throw line, make four four free throws. Now, again, it's not like we tore it up in the third quarter offensively ourselves. But when you're playing a game like this, that's how it's going to be. Uh, I did not expect a 95-90 game, um, but it was it was great effort by e e everyone, um, and just just really really ex excited for all of them. Jeff, it's 54-53 Kentucky with three and a half minutes to go. You go on a big run to close it out. I guess what does it say about this team's continued growth and when you needed people to make buckets and get stops, they were able to do that? Well, I, I was really pleased at, at when Kentucky went up one. We, we had actually worked in practice briefly on when they threw to the elbow and the guard went away went ball side to come back and steal it. And uh, I, I don't know if it was Steph or Sam or JP or who it was that was like, hey, tell Chelsea to go back and double because we had worked on it. And she came up with a huge steal there. They kind of got things going for us. And then I thought Alana Smith's lay layup she made in transition was a big bucket. Haley came up with some, some big pull-ups. It was just a great team effort. Emily rebounded the ball well. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a, a really, really good basketball game. It, I'm not saying it was pretty, but it was a good game, especially effort-wise. Jeff, you mentioned Alana. She, she was a spark today and mentioned that she felt like she had to match the energy uh, of this rivalry in this game. Uh, did you kind of see that from her throughout the week and had it show today? Well, I've, I've seen it throughout the whole year. It, it's one of the things I challenged Alana with was you, you, you can't cheat this game. You can't cheat school. If you don't study, your grades aren't going to be good. And if you don't put the time in and the energy into the game of basketball, you're just not going to show up at our level and just be more athletic than somebody, just better. You've got to put the time in, and she's really done a much better job of that starting in the offseason to get prepared. Plus, she's gotten stronger. She's worked in the weight room. Uh, you know, a Andy, our men's strength coach, kind of helped us for about – Two and a, about a month, a month or so, 
uh, right at the, be the, the beginning of school when we were lo looking to hire a new strength coach. And I, I thought Andy just did a great job of helping our kids and getting us stronger. And that's what we needed. Now Ren has c come in here and kind of continued on with that. So I think we're getting stronger and then more confident because of that. Jeff, kind of again on Alana, she had a big block late in the life of that last three or four minutes. Um, also, obviously, had 13 points. She's come a long way in consistency on both sides of the floor. Just how much, how important is that growth for her when it comes to you guys trying to add depth on the bench? Well, it, it's big for us. Her effort is what, and, and we needed her athleticism as well. She did a great job of getting over and help and recovering. Um, and that's what we need. When she plays like that, she's capable of doing what she did. It's, it's not like she was 9 for 11 from the field. You know, she went 6 for 11, took good shots, had a huge pull-up uh, in, in transition there late late in the fourth quarter as well. It was just – I was really happy for her, and I'm hoping she'll use this to continue to, uh, uh, to get better. Coach Treasure Hunt came out and, and had a pretty decent game against you all. Just talk about her effort against you and the ways you were trying to stop her. Well, she, she, she did a really nice job, especially in the first half. She knocked down, down a huge three as we were starting to get a little bit of a run going. Uh, and then she, she did a great job with, with the matches, the, you know, the, the personnel mismatch and what we had playing man-to-man -man of, of Tate taking us down and you, using her size advantage to post us up at times and finish some tough shots. So I, 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 I thought she played well. I, I thought we made it as difficult on Ryan Howard as we could, and that's what we knew we had to do. But uh, overall, just just a gutsy team win, and now we've got what we'll have tomorrow off, and get ready for Thursday, Eastern Kentucky here, and then we'll head we'll head up to Connecticut to to play UConn next Sunday. Jeff, I guess uh, at a point where they could have, um, I don't want to say folded, but you could see the body language when Kentucky went ahead. How did you kind of keep them focused and you know just try to grind it out? Well, we talked about it at halftime. I mean, we led for about for, for 17 minutes in the first half and then just let it we, – we got sloppy at the offensive end. We were up, I think, 38 to 30 and then, and then just could not execute at the offensive end. So we just talked about that at halftime. And then we talked about how we have, keep, have to keep defending because we lost them a few times in transition, a couple of things where we just did not play good sound defense. And then I thought our third quarter was just remarkable. What you got, Ollie? How was your defense today? Our defense was good, buddy. Our, our defense was, I, I thought, on point. Um, we did allow them to, to kind of take, to take it at us there in the fourth quarter at times. But overall, I was really pleased to hold a Kentucky team to, to, to 58 points. I think we we did a really nice job offensively. Our goal is to get into the 70s, you know. But defensively, I, I thought we played well. Um, did it take some time to just adjust to the physical nature uh, of the game and what was going on? And, and Olivia, what did her knock on the head? Is she fine from that? Yeah. Oh, oh, got land, landed on top top of the head and hit her head, and uh, you know it was more of a just being cautious and make sure we don't put her in a situation. To where you know some something could go go wrong with a, a head injury or anything like that. Uh, she she wanted to play. She told me she goes, Coach, I'm I'm good, I'm good. But like when the music came on, she even said it it kind of gave her a little bit of a headache. Um, so you know we we want to make sure we take care of our student athletes first. And uh, I, I talked to her after the game and you know gave her a big hug and just told her how proud of her I was. And she'll she'll get some rest and make sure we go see our trainer, our doctors, and that. That, 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 that she's good to go. Well, I, it, it's just it, – it started off, no. We, you know, there were a lot of things that were called, and which is fine, and then it kind of changed. And that's as a player, you've just got to be able to adjust. You, you've got to be able to adjust as the game goes. And I, I don't think we did a great job of that at times. So that's a learning lesson for us. Uh, and then you got to play through the whistle. No, no matter what, you got to play through the whistle. I don't care if you think you got fouled. If they don't blow the whistle, it's not a foul. 
And I thought we stopped a few times anticipating, even on the defensive end, if we thought, oh, there may have been contact, I fouled. But if the whistle's not blown, you got to keep playing. So that, that, that's one thing that we'll show them and, and continue to get better at. <clears throat> Jeff, you mentioned uh, back here how you guys defended Ryan. What was the strategy going into that? Because it looked like you threw multiple defenders at her. Well, we, we, we did. I mean, you just can't play her one way. You've got to try to make it as, as uncomfortable as you can for her. Uh, have, have to make her work for every, everything she gets. And that was the goal. I thought Mikasa did a nice job. Kiana started off on her, did a nice job. Um, I think Emily guarded for a few possessions. Ch Chelsea even may have guarded her. It just it comes down to a point where you've got to just continue to throw, throw bodies at her. And that's what we did. Before I head out, I'd like to also congratulate again our, our volleyball team. I mean, what an unbelievable run that they've had, and uh, you know, hopefully, and I'm 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 expecting it, but hopefully they have some more success up there in, in Columbus than we did. Uh, but what an what an unbelievable team! And uh, again, I'd like to thank all the fans that came out for the volleyball match last night as well. What an unbelievable environment it was. Uh, the place gets loud. And we, we just have a wonderful fan base. And uh, it's, just, it's pretty remar remarkable what our volleyball team is doing right now. And hopefully, you know, on Thursday, I talked about it a, a, a little bit, which I'll talk to the, the, the Yum Center here. Our game's not a – it's an 8 p.m. tip against Eastern. I'm going to try to see if we can't have the volleyball game streamed live in here starting at seven hopefully we can o op open the doors up you know 10 10 minutes earlier than we normally do and allow people to come in here and i'll keep that thing on until they tell me i can't so it might be five minutes before tip if we're able to and then i'll make sure that we are announcing updates throughout the game because what an unbelievable opportunity that they have so, again, congratulations to Dan Danny, her staff, and, and the entire team. Thank you, everybody.